here. So what's your plan of action to deal with this rival book? Hmm, why don't you take a guess? I'll give you a hint. It's to do with the Yai Publishing House. Mm. Oh, Paimon knows! Combine the reputation of the Yai Publishing House with the status of Guji Yai and tell everyone that the incantations in that book are dangerous! Oh, wow! Your first guess and you got it absolutely... wrong. First-hand guide to summoning spirits is the hottest light novel right now. If we did as you suggested, we would effectively be advertising to everyone that the incantations are real. In bending over backwards trying to warn everyone about the dangers, all we would accomplish is to create more curious readers ready to try them out. Also, sales for the book would only increase further. Okay, yeah, that would be pretty catastrophic. Hmm. Oh! How about we confiscate all the copies? <sighs> Leaving aside the issue of the enormous manpower and resources such an operation would require, going to such lengths over a light novel would be extremely disruptive to the lives of Inazumans. But that means there's nothing we can do. Well, I've been thinking. I've read a first-hand guide to summoning spirits, it has many other good qualities besides the incantations alone. The book contains many ancient kaiden, or tales of the supernatural, and is written in a very engaging way. That is why the book has become so popular. Hmm... I think we're going to have a difficult time trying to rein in its popularity while it's the only work in its league on the market. That's right. How do you get rid of the next big thing? You replace it with the next next big thing. So what we're going to do is create Inazuma's newest hit novel. Smash our rival's sales numbers and win our readers back. That is how Yaimiko wages war. Incidentally, this will also be the best way to combat the influence of a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. Wait, Miko! So, you want us to write a novel? <laughs> well, becoming an accomplished novelist certainly isn't an overnight process. But let's not forget that I am the chief editor of the Yai Publishing House. I have my ways. I did say this is what we're going to do. I trust that the word teamwork is in your vocabulary. Anyway, there is a writer's submission event going on at the moment. Start by talking to readers and finding out what they're into. When you have an idea of what the current trends are, come back and see me. I'll be at Uyu Restaurant. Find me there when you're done. I will assemble a team, and we can work while we eat. The key to a successful light novel is having good illustrations. When to use illustrations, what they should contain, and which artists you should commission for them. These are all key things to bear in mind. Good illustrations can make up for bad writing. But on the flip side, a bad illustration can ruin your novel, even if you have the best story in the world. There's a saying that light novels are essentially a case of buy art, get words free. I'd agree with that. Too bad most of the top artists have jam-packed schedules, so it's extremely difficult to commission them. The illustrations in A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits are incredible, but it's unlike any art style I've ever seen before. I'll be honest, I read light novels for the cheap thrills. In most traditional stories, the protagonist usually has this long and drawn-out character arc, usually involving a process of separation, loss, and 
ultimately growth and renewed strength. It reads well and everything. It's just a little slow paced for me. By contrast, there's this popular light novel at the moment called A First Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits, where the protagonist is super strong right from the get go. That's what I mean by cheap thrills. Action packed right from page one. The protagonist is a kitsune who has not only mastered the secret art of incantations, but also tea ceremony, painting, and calligraphy. I've been reading light novels for a long time now. I'm mainly into big, ambitious fantasy works with an original core concept and good storytelling. These days, though, everyone seems to be imitating each other. Most of the time, I can guess what the story is about just from the title. The only recent book worth mentioning is A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits. Not only is it a good story, but the descriptions are really true to life. So much so that I'm almost wondering if maybe the author really has met all those yokai before. There's much more to light novels than Paimon realized! <sighs> Let's go tell our findings to Yai Niko! you are. Let me introduce the team. You've already met Junkichi and Shigeru. Shigeru is an experienced editor, and Junkichi is the author he's partnered with. Junkichi's working through a creative lull at the moment, but all his past works have been very popular with young people. He's developed a distinct and enduringly popular style. Satomi is Yai Publishing House's ace in the hole. Her specialty is that she can write all kinds of completely different stories and all under different pen names. As for what those names are, well, <laughs> that's a trade secret. They will be teaming up with us to collectively create the novel that knocks a first-hand guide to summoning spirits off its perch. So, feeling better about my plan now? Uh-huh. It definitely makes sense. <laughs> now then, tell me what you found out about readers' preferences. Hmm, all very true. An original core concept, a fast pace, quality illustrations, and lots of action. This is the formula that will guarantee good sales numbers. More importantly than that, even though it's a work of fiction, we have to deliver a sense of realism. Paimon followed pretty much all of that, but there's still one question. What are we actually gonna write about? For example, we know we need an original core concept, but how do we come up with one? <laughs> Before you can answer that question, you have to understand your target audience. Take a first-hand guide to summoning spirits, for example. When I read it, all I find is common knowledge to the kitsune, but to the general public, it's bursting with new and interesting ideas. It all comes down to the size of the information gap between author and reader. As a traveler, there must be a great many things you know that are complete unknowns to the people of Inazuma. What is commonplace to you may be fresh and original to them. Oh, right! So maybe we can take inspiration from our time in Mondstadt and Lila! Hmm... That would make it a completely different genre than a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. Uh, is that gonna be a problem? Not at all. You don't have to worry so much about how to compete with that book. All you have to do is provide some interesting ideas based on your travel experiences. As long as the core content is interesting, my expert team here will be able to flesh out the details. Alright, let's start with chapter then, uh, what are you thinking? This sounds like a great one! Let's see here. 
the protagonist arrives in Mondstadt for the first time to the sight of a dragon flying around and wreaking havoc on the city. With the help of some trusty companions, the protagonist successfully defeats the dragon. But then, the dragon suddenly turns into a beautiful young woman! Uh, huh? Human, let us work together to build a better future. The love story between human and dragon begins today? Well, that was an unexpected development. What happened to the grand adventure? What? But that's so misleading! Hmm... Out of a maximum of ten points, I'd give that a nine. The story certainly goes in an unorthodox direction, and the dragon girl sounds destined to be a hit character. Approved. What the heck?! Hmm, good job, little one. You're not only drawing on your own experiences, but it seems you're filtering them through the lens of the kinds of light novels you've read in the past. I think you really understand what we're trying to do here. Thoughts from the experts? Are we able to work with this general framework to make an interesting story? Yeah, we think it works. I tend to overcomplicate the core concept if I'm not careful, so this deals with that problem. <laughs> That's good. Okay, we're done with Chapter 1. Let's move on to Chapter 2. Readers will devour your content a lot more quickly than you'd think. If we don't keep delivering the goods now we've caught their attention, all our hard work so far is in vain. Hurry, Chapter 2, let's go. Can't you see that Satomi is waiting? Hmm? What's wrong with you? You don't look so good. Hmm, what a pity. I thought your beginner's luck would carry you a little further before it came to this. But alas... The time has come prematurely. Before it came to what? What's happened? The bane of our existence. Writer's block. It's your arch nemesis for life. Appearing without warning and inflicting a pain worse than death upon the writer. They sell their souls just to get their muse back. Sounds awful! When this happens, the best thing you can do is have a bite to eat and take a proper break. <clears throat> uh, boss, get me a plate of fried tofu, and get some kushikatsu for these two. Just the basic kind will do. Don't worry, this is my treat. Your treat? Oh, wait a minute. Miko, we'll be getting paid for all the hard work we're doing, right? Of course, everyone that takes part in the creative process will be paid. Cool, then let's press on, shall we? Don't give up now! For the sake of our paycheck, get your brain going! Ooh, ooh! Does this mean your inspirations come back? The Leeway Academy has more student clubs than you can shake a stick at. And as the new kid on the block, the protagonist is the one they're all fighting over. There's the Culinary Club, the Architecture Club, the Funerary Club, even the Coconut Milk Research Club. But in the end, the protagonist chose to join the Rock and Roll Club. Taking a chance on their youthful dreams, four newcomers to the Academy form a rock and roll band that really begins to take off. Paimon loves it! Hmm, I give it a 9.5. A classic tale of youth and friendship. It never gets old. I especially like the head of the club. Great character design. She really has rock and roll coursing through her veins. I can almost feel the heat from that fire in her soul. Approved. Oh yeah! Great. Well, now Satomi can get started on that. Leave it to me, Lady Yai. Let's write about Inazuma in the third chapter, shall we? I can help with this one. We can use the Vision Hunt Decree or your experience in the Resistance. Any ideas?
When the Vision Hunt decree comes out of nowhere, the protagonist joins the Resistance, starting out as an ordinary rank-and-file soldier. Find out how the protagonist goes on to make great contributions to the war effort, become best friends with the Resistance General, and get to know the Guji of the Grand Narukami Shrine, working together with everyone to finally secure a grand victory for the Resistance. Huh. It's... surprisingly normal. I think it's rather good. A lot of people still like the classic hero's journey. From ordinary soldier to great leader, a fresh take on a timeless classic. One thing, though. We'll need to rewrite the part about me giving you the omamori. Let's change it to... The mysterious Lady Kitsune teaches the protagonist a spell that can make their wishes come true. The protagonist uses this spell to defeat the Raiden Shogun in battle. That should do the trick. Whoa. So we're really going head-to-head -head with our rival on this one, huh? <laughs> I suppose so. Once they're done writing the manuscript, I'll write the passage where the protagonist recites the incantation myself. Are we done, then? Do you really think this will be able to beat a first-hand guide to summoning spirits? The content is fine. Now we just need to promote it. I will contact an artist to make some illustrations. I'm positive they will be at least as good as those in A First-Hand Guide to Summoning Spirits. We'll also need an endorsement on a paper band around the book. I can get the wonderful Ms. Hina to write that. She runs a regular Q&A column in That's Life magazine. The people of Inazuma absolutely adore her. You're free to take a break while the creative team is doing their work, but please go by the Yai Publishing House at some point to commission Ms. Hina for that recommendation. Once our light novel is complete, let's meet at the writer's submission event. Hina doesn't usually do endorsements, but since it's Lady Guji that's asking, we'll see what we can do. With Miss Hina getting so popular lately, a lot of people have come to us hoping to do a collaboration. But Miss Hina's not interested in any of it. She still prefers to focus all her efforts on replying to readers' letters, and turns down every promotional opportunity she can. Maybe that's why her fans like her so much. <laughs> I I'm getting off topic here. Anyway, if we can get that endorsement from Miss Hina, you'll definitely get an exposure boost at the beginning. May your light novel sell well and set a new record for the Yai Publishing House. We'll do our best. Are you sure you'd like to submit this entry? Let me see. The Miraculous Adventures of the Traveler by Thousand Hands. What a strange pen name. Definitely your doing. Having been around you so much recently, Paimon's slowly starting to understand your unique tastes. What do you mean, strange? It took a lot of work by a lot of different people to get this thing finished. Don't you think it's a very descriptive pen name? We'll get this printed as a matter of priority, and conduct trial sales in pilot locations throughout Inazuma. I'll announce the sales numbers in three days. Uh-oh. Paimon's getting a little nervous now. Do you really think this is gonna work? That's right. Be confident in your work. That's exactly how a light novelist should be. Okay, then I'll sign you up. Please come back in three days for the results. Thank you all for your submission. I wish you the very best of luck.
You've all finally made it. Good news, everyone. I just received word that your light novel is flying off the shelves. Multiple sales locations are asking when we'll be printing more copies. Woohoo! That's great! This level of success is an amazing accomplishment for a new work. Most new books don't sell 30% of what you've sold. <laughs> I have free copies for each of you here. Please take them. The payment will follow shortly, and I'll notify you to come and collect it when the time comes. Oh, yeah! The whole reason why we made this light novel was to combat the influence of a first-hand guide to summoning spirits. Hmm. We sold a lot of copies, but it doesn't feel like we accomplished our goal. How do we know whether it worked? <laughs> oh, don't worry. The change is already underway. Shh. Listen to what the people around us are talking about. The conversation has already moved on, hasn't it? Hey guys, have you heard about this latest Kaidon thing doing the rounds? You just need to recite the incantation from a first-hand guide to summoning spirits at midnight, and your wish will come true! Oh, that? <laughs> That's a throwback. That's old news, man. No one's talking about that anymore. The secret spells of Lady Kitsune is the new hit thing. I've already memorized all the incantations. The secret spells of Lady Kitsune? What's that? You haven't read it yet? Okay, so supposedly, if you recite the spell in there on a moonless night, you'll receive protection of the Kitsune and all the other powerful yokai. They can make any of your wishes come true. I heard that the incantations in a first-hand guide to summoning spirits have weird side effects. This one guy wished for a load of Mora and got it, but then one night it all turned to leaves and he developed a high fever. They actually had to use one of the secret spells of Lady Kitsune to get rid of the discomfort. That proves that the incantations in this book are more potent than the ones everyone was trying before. Pretty much everyone I know is desperate to try it out. Just waiting for a moonless night. Really? Well, I better go and prepare too. Well, feeling less worried now? Wow, you're right! Everyone's shifting focus! But, what's this moonless night that they're talking about? Hyman doesn't remember that detail from the brainstorming session. <laughs> this is something that will become very important to us further down the line. All right, it's time to move on to the next phase of the plan. Eh? There's a phase two? Of course. Behind every book that hits the market lies an author, right? Oh, yeah. If we leave him to his own devices, he might just write another guide to summoning spirits. Also, we still need to figure out what his motive for writing it was. Exactly. That's what we need to take care of next. Fortunately, I've already managed to identify the author. He's a failed light novelist named Tomoyuki. But when we went to ask him about it, he had no recollection whatsoever of having written the book. Yes, this is another case of possession. Only this time, whoever possessed him actively sought him out. After his novel submission failed, he was walking aimlessly in Araumi. In frustration, he shouted out, Please, someone, anyone, help me write a truly amazing novel! After that, he lost consciousness. But the spirit that wrote the book has already left him now, right? So what are we supposed to do? Simple. It wrote a summoning incantation in the book, didn't it? So we can just use its own method to make it manifest itself. And you, my little friend, are the perfect candidate for this role. <laughs> oh, what are you talking about? The fun's just about to begin. <laughs> <laughs>